Hey Owls, welcome back to FAU Paradise News. I'm Imani Marable. And I'm Ryan Kennelly. It definitely feels like the first week of fall here in South Florida. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I'm loving these 90 degree days. Speaking of cold weather to come, cold and flu season is right around the corner. FAU is giving away free flu shots again for this season. You can get them at SHS. Speaking of health, FAU's second annual Health Campus Expo will take place October 11th from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. at the Student Union. The Expo Education Committee's main giveaway will be granting $500 in educational allowance for fall tuition to 20 students. Be sure to check out this event if you're interested. Don't forget to start looking at the department course schedule for the spring of 2019 classes. Registration for students starts on October 29th. For more information about the dates and times, check out the FAU Registrar's website. The 11th Annual iLead Student Leadership Conference kicks off Friday, September 28th and goes until Saturday, September 29th at the FAU Student Union. This year's theme is about advancing and increasing self-awareness. For more information, be sure to check out iLead's page on the FAU website. Now we'll send you over to Matt Brown with sports. Thanks, Ryan. Last Friday, the FAU football team traveled up to Orlando to take on the number 16 team in the country, the UCF Knights, who are riding a nation-high 15-game win streak after going 13-0 last season, despite running back Devin Singletary's 131 rushing yards and three touchdowns, the Owls lost this one 56-36. They are back in action tomorrow night at Middle Tennessee to start off conference play. The men's soccer match this past Tuesday against Florida Gulf Coast was postponed due to inclement weather, but they will be back in action tomorrow night against Stetson at home looking to improve upon their 2-4 and four record this season. Now, on over to women's soccer. After starting the season off slow with a record of 2-6, and six, the Lady Owls have won their last three games and are currently tied for first in conference play with a record of 2-0. and oh. They will be looking to keep that win streak going tonight at 7 against Louisiana Tech and will also be playing this Sunday at 1 against Southern Miss. Be sure to come out this weekend to support the team if you can because after this weekend, They'll just have two more home games remaining. Also riding a win streak is the women's volleyball team who have won 10 straight matches since starting out the season 0-3. That is the longest win streak the team has had since 2005. Outside hitter Masiel Matos was just named the Conference USA Offensive Player of the Week after posting a match high 17 kills against UAB along with 10 digs. The team begins a three-match road trip tonight down in Miami against FIU. Men and women swim and dive splashed down yesterday with their first meet of the season against the University of Florida. Several owls placed within the top four of their respective races with Fatima Westbrook placing first in the 100-yard breast and Logan Downey placing first in the one-meter dive. Men and women's basketball schedules were recently released, so be sure to check out those games coming up in November. Speaking of basketball, the Heat took time away from down in Miami to come up to Paradise and take part in some early season training camp at the Borough. Also in professional sports, former FAU kicker Greg Joseph was just signed to a contract with the Cleveland Browns. He and Trayvon Coley helped lead the Browns to their first victory since 2016 this past weekend. Joseph went 2 for 2 on field goals and made his lone extra point attempt. That's it for us in sports this week. Back to you guys. Thanks, Matt. In national news, the Kavanaugh hearings have continued. And on Thursday, September 27th, Christine Basley Ford testified in front of the Senate Judicial Committee against Kavanaugh and his past actions. Ford and Kavanaugh were questioned by prosecutor Rachel Mitchell, where they described their side of the story and details surrounding the investigation. Judge Kavanaugh denies the allegations and claims that the hearing is a calculated and orchestrated political hit and a national disgrace. While Ford claims that I am here because I believe it's my civic duty to tell you what happened to me while Brett Kavanaugh and I were in high school. The confirmation process will continue on September 28, 2018. This past week, Bill Cosby was officially sentenced three to ten years for his sexual misconduct. He was convicted for drugging and sexually assaulting a woman named Andrea Constand at his home 14 years ago. October 9th marks the last day for registering to vote in the general election on November 6, 2018. Running for governor this year are Democrat Andrew Gillum and Republican Ron DeSantis. Andrew Gillum is for criminal justice reform. He supports the legalization of marijuana in order to create more revenue that would pay for teachers and other staff members. He believes that by doing this, it would help lower the mass incarceration of those with small drug offenses. 
Gillum is also strongly in favor for addressing the issue of climate change. He believes that Florida needs to create a plan that uses clean energy as soon as possible. Gillum believes in more gun safety regulations, and he also wants to stop the separation policies that affect immigration. Ron DeSantis is for restoring the Everglades and stopping the algae discharges. He is also for keeping Florida a low tax state by rejecting tax increases. He is for stopping illegal immigration by starting E-Verify to make sure legal workforce is present. In addition to that, he will be removing sanctuary cities in the state of Florida. He also wants to end judicial activism by assigning conservatives to the state of Florida's Supreme Court. DeSantis is also for pro-life regulations and stands by the Second Amendment. Well, that's all the news we have for you this week. Signing off for FAU Paradise News, I'm Ryan Kennelly. And I'm Imani Maribel. Have a great weekend, and don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe to us at OWL TV on social media.